Peter at Plumbing Express again, here with a few minutes of being able to talk to you about some plumbing items, just to give you some education so that you know better about why it is that you have some of the plumbing items that are on your house. Now, a big one that we run into all the time here in Florida is people ask about, hey, what about backflows? Why do I have one of those? Now, this may not be recognizable to you because this is one that's been taken out and completely disassembled. This might be a little more what you're used to seeing, a big hunk of brass hanging out in your yard, you thinking, gosh, that thing's ugly, or better yet, I wish I would keep running into that. That's definitely something we've heard before. So why is it that we need backflow preventers? It's not really just a uh, ploy by the government to be able to have you run into it all the time. It's actually there for a reason. Now, I am gonna be honest with you. Your backflow doesn't actually do anything for you. It actually protects everybody else from you. But it also means that by everybody having a backflow preventer installed, everyone is protected from everybody else. Now, why is that important and how does it do the protection? Well, the backflow preventer acts as a check valve. It makes it so that every bit of water that goes in your house has to stay in your house, not come back into the system. And, you know, why would that be important? Well, thing is, nobody knows what you do at your house or what your neighbor does at their house. Maybe they are running a photo lab where they have chemicals and there's potential for those chemicals to get into the water system and pull back into the main. Maybe they are a painter. Maybe they are possibly doing some stuff um, that, you know, could just be hazardous, no matter what it might be. Well, if that's the case, what we don't want to do is allow something to occur. Now, that could mean you're, there's a fire, the fire truck comes out and has to hit one of the fire mains and, and pull water from a fire hydrant. There could just be a break in the road or in your yard. Whenever that happens and it loses pressure and the water shut off, the next thing you know, it makes it so that there is a backflow or a back siphonage that occurs that pulls the water from your house out into the main. Now you can imagine if you've been putting chemicals and stuff like that, possibly into the water system to be able to do your photography and stuff like that, or possibly fertilizer or anything like that, pesticides even for your irrigation, it pulls back in. Maybe it doesn't just stop at your house. Maybe it pulls it back into the main. And the next thing you know, your neighbors are getting sick, possibly a school down the road or a workplace. It's just a very dangerous situation. So the reason why it's important that we all have backflows is because it, Backflows protect each of us from everybody else. So again, just a quick little snippet of information for you guys in regards to plumbing knowledge. Hope that you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe to us. And remember, Peter with Plumbing Express and help can be on the way.